What is up and welcome back to Toyota Fanatics you guys. So we're addressing an issue with the Sequoia today. A few months ago we posted a video uh, going over it and uh, we talked about how one of the reasons why my wife didn't like it anymore is there is like a, sort of some uh, valve noise, exhaust leak, exhaust tick. We don't know what really it is, uh, but there was tons of comments. You guys left so many comments um, that it probably needs a valve adjustment. It's probably the uh, classic 4.7 exhaust manifold issue. So many of my viewers and subscribers out there said that we have got to do an oil change with some really good oil. And uh, this thing's only had classic 5W30, never switched up to synthetic or done anything good as far as oil in this thing. So I figure before I uh, start going down the route of uh, new manifolds, headers, valve adjustments. We might as well get some good oil for this thing. So the hunt was on for the best, most expensive oil I could find. And I came across this signature series, AMS oil, fully synthetic. But the neat thing about it is it's actually still a 5W30, even though it's full synthetic. I know there's some issues out there, people switching over to synthetic because it's such a watery oil that, you know, sometimes it can cause leaks and there's other issues, but this is still a 5W30. So same viscosity. It's basically the same oil as a classic 5W30 conventional oil, but it's fully synthetic this is some very good oil but it was over a hundred dollars just for the oil not including the oil filter or anything like that so i'm out warming the thing up right now i want to get it super hot we're going to go back we're going to switch it out for this this ams oil and then we're going to bring out the old owner the actual person who can tell us if it helped the uh the sound at all so let's go back switch out this oil and then we'll bring her out and uh, ask her did it make a difference all right let's do it Uh, we got a fire truck over here. I thought it was just a delivery truck. One thing we talked about before is that the exhaust, uh, or whatever this noise is, is definitely coming from this side, which makes me think it's like a cracked manifold. So maybe this whole oil change thing isn't even going to do anything, but can you guys hear it? Can you guys hear that noise? We will come right here when it's done and we'll do an evaluation. So just, just take a moment of silence and take all that noise in right there. You hear it? Okay, let's do it. Whoa. And if you're a real Toyota person, you keep a couple brand new drain plug washers on hand. I think these things are like 38 cents a piece. Just go to the dealership, get a few, have them in a bag, then you don't have to worry about it. I like to use a new one every time, but you don't have to. All right, so the oil change is done and we got the expert right here who drove like 50,000 miles in this thing. So let's go fire it up. Now this is my question. It's only ran for like two minutes since we did the oil change, if that. Does it take time? Does it make it sound better over time or is it just something that happens right away? I don't know. Anyways, let's see. Let's see if it sounds any better. Oh, no, dude. What are you going to do, huh? That doesn't sound any better. Sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think it sounds a tiny bit quieter? We'll have to do a side by side over, over the clip I took earlier, but. Not at all? No, it's not at all. What are you looking at? so low today. Oh yeah. Nothing changed. You guys, we just got rid of like $30 worth of Penn's oil, traded it in for over $100 worth of the finest signature series, fully synthetic oil that's supposed to be, I mean, this is the stuff they run in NASCARs, right? Right. And, uh, I think it's I think it's a tiny bit quieter. I don't know. I disagree. Okay. Well, we'll, <laughs> we'll give it we'll give it 500 miles and then check in from there. You guys, this is the oil we're running right here. This uh, AMS oil signature series 5W30. This stuff was like $14 a quart, and I even went on their website and looked. There's all kinds of graphs and charts. I mean, this stuff is really good. Every chart there, that they had, and there was a couple bars, the one for this one was, was higher than the other one. It looked good. <laughs> it looked really good on the, I don't even want, I can't even begin to explain to you guys like what it said, you know, it was like the wear protection, viscosity, breakdown. Uh, yeah, but this is supposed to be some amazing stuff. So we'll see. All right, so time will tell. That's all there is to it. Until then. 
All right, you guys, thanks for watching today's video. And uh, if you have any experience with AMS oil, you've used it before, and uh, you have any uh, comments, definitely uh, drop one below. Let me know what you guys think of that stuff. And uh, stay tuned for more great videos. I'll see you guys soon. Later.